Hi guys, um, we're going to do a really lovely little uh, balancing sequence this morning. Uh, pretty gentle, going to give lots of options as to where we can stay. So it's suitable right from beginners, just kind of beginning to calibrate that brain into a balancing place. Uh, balance is so often about our brain. So if for whatever reason this morning you're normally like balance or extraordinaire and this morning it just does not work, um, don't worry about it. Um, just go with the flow, see how it feels, um, and yeah, enjoy those little twinges in your body, those little kind of feelings of, of moving around. Listen, if anything feels too strong, ease yourself out, go down a level, um, but yeah, take your time, enjoy it. We're going to start in child's pose, just as a really quick place to bring ourselves into our bodies. So knees relatively wide. Arms reaching out in front of you, find that stretch all the way from the fingertips down towards the heels. Breathing here, just beginning to tune yourself in. And already working to silence the mind a little bit. So any thoughts that come into your head, acknowledge them but let them go on their own way. Tuning into the sound of your breath. We'll take one more inhale and one more nice long exhale. And then when you're ready, slowly walking your hands back towards your knees, bringing yourself all the way up to a knelt position. I'm going to bring the knees a little closer together so we feel a little bit more centered. And we're gonna start by popping the hands down onto the floor and tucking the toes under. So a lot of balance not only comes down to how our mind is feeling, but also our feet, how they're doing, really grounding them to the floor. So we're gonna start by taking a stretch into the toes. So with the feet tucked under, walk the hands back a little bit so you come up onto the fingertips. This might feel enough for you, in which case totally stay here. If we feel like we can come a little further, start by trying to tuck the little toes under a little bit more. So that they're kind of tucked under. And then maybe we bring the hands up onto the thighs. Weight is still slightly forwards. Again, this might feel enough. Or maybe you sit the weight right back onto those heels and begin to feel the toes really grounding to the floor. Now I know this can be a super strong stretch. So just really breathe into the body here. Take your time. We'll take one more breath. And then walking the hands forwards, untuck the toes. Just take a moment to maybe tap the feet out. Beautiful. From here, we're going to tuck those toes back under again. Walk the hands back. But then you're going to find your way to tiptoe sort of stand so the knees have lifted fingertips again to the floor and from here tuck your chin in towards your chest and we're going to slowly begin to roll ourselves all the way up to standing so heels probably come to the floor before we lift the fingertips we roll our way all the way up knees are soft rolling through the body when we get to the top, rolling those shoulders back and down. Beautiful. One more nice big roll through those shoulders. Bring them all the way back down. From here, keeping the focus on our toes, we're going to inhale, reach the arms up. Come right up onto your tiptoes as we draw that body high. And then float the arms back down again. Let the heels come down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reach the arms up, draw them high. Exhale, heels come down, hands come down. Final time, inhale, draw those arms up, right up onto the tiptoes, reach into those fingertips, hold here. And then bring the arms down, bring the heels down. 
beautiful. Bring your gaze down towards your toes. We're gonna lift all 10 toes away from the floor. Spread the toes as much as you can. And then we're gonna see if you can press just the big toes back down towards the floor. Don't worry if it doesn't happen. Lift all 10 toes up away from the floor again. And this time can we press the eight little toes down, keep the big toes lifted. Lift them all the way back up. Spread those toes nice and wide and bring them all down towards the floor. Beautiful, so keeping that feeling of spreading through the feet, let the hands come to the hips. So begin to let your gaze settle onto something that's not gonna move. So what we know is our drishti in yoga. So our gazing point, that point to affix yourself to. Keeping your gaze on that point, begin to bring your weight over into your left leg. And we might begin to get a little float of the right leg up away from the floor. Toe can tap down at any point. That's totally and utterly fine. And that might be where you stay today, just with the toe lifting and lowering from the floor slightly. If you keep that little bit of hang time, can we begin to squeeze into this bum cheek of the lifted leg and maybe squeeze the foot a little higher? Again, we might stay here. Or maybe we reach the fingertips out, really reach into those fingertips. And then maybe, if it feels okay for you, we begin to let that bottom hand draw down a little bit more as the top arm and leg begin to reach up towards the ceiling. You might wobble like I just did, which is totally fine. And then bring yourself all the way back up, pop the foot down towards the floor, have a little wriggle. Nice. So I'm going to bring that to the opposite side. So hands come to the hips again. Begin to bring your weight over onto the right foot this time. Again, maybe to come up onto the tiptoes of that left foot. And maybe just see if there's a little bit of a float there. Again, toes might tap down a little bit. If you've got that little bit of hang time, squeeze the foot a little bit higher. And maybe we begin to reach the arms out as we reach right into those fingertips. Again, maybe that bottom hand begins to draw down as we change the center of gravity and really think like a star. Reach into those fingertips. Don't worry if you wobble, keep that gaze fixed. And then bring yourself all the way back up and release, have a little wriggle. Beautiful, so from the top of your mat, we're going to tuck the chin in, clasp the hands onto the back of the head, soften into the knees. And you're going to take a really nice slow roll all the way down towards your forward fold. So feet are solid to the floor. We're curling through that body. Beginning to find the belly come down towards the thighs and then rolling all the way down to a forward fold. Let the arms release. Take a moment to breathe here. And then planting the hands to the floor, step your way all the way back to a box position. So to hands and knees. Set the hands up underneath the shoulders. We're nice and strong here. And from here, we're gonna extend the right leg away behind you, toes down towards the floor. So again, we might stay here, this might feel perfect for you today. If not, maybe we squeeze into the right bum cheek, take a little hover of the right foot. Again, perfect to stay here. Maybe we come up onto the fingertips of the left hand, feel that center of the body begin to tense a little bit. And then maybe we reach that left arm out in front of us. So we've got that length all the way from fingertips down towards the heel. Keep breathing. If you're at any of the points before, stay there. Don't worry about progressing. If it doesn't feel right for you today, take one more breath. And then popping hand and foot all the way back down towards the floor. Keep the toes tucked under for a moment. And then we're going to roll the right foot to the inside. So big toe side of the foot lays down onto your mat. Take a slight pivot out of your left leg. 
press into your left hand and the right arm is going to reach up towards the ceiling. So we find a supported side plank. Think length down this right hand side of your body. And maybe we take a little squeeze of the right bum cheek and we maybe see if we can lift the right leg away from the floor. Again, don't worry if that is literally just the tiniest lift. Anything is okay. Breathe into your body. If you can lift that leg a little higher, draw it up so we think straight line all the way down the side body. And then with control, roll it all the way back, bringing yourself to hands and knees. Take a moment to sit yourself back onto your heels, clasp the hands together and we'll take a little roll through the wrists. Take that roll back in the opposite direction. And then bring yourself all the way back towards hands and knees. Beautiful, so again, setting yourself up nice and strong. This time we're gonna extend the left leg behind us. So toes rest down towards the floor, begin to feel a little bit more rooted into the hands and the right knee. And then maybe we squeeze into the left bum cheek, begin to hover the toes away from the floor. Come up onto the fingertips of the right hand. And maybe we reach that right arm out in front. Again, don't worry if that's not feeling quite right for you. Come back to somewhere else. Or maybe have a little play and it might not be a hold, it might be momentary. Reach into the fingers, press into the heel, breathe. Take one more breath. And then pop that hand and the toes back down towards the floor. Roll towards the inside of the left foot. Little pivot out of the right leg. Weight into the right hand as left arm lifts towards the ceiling. So think about this rotation, this opening of the chest. Let the lifted left arm almost draw you weightlessly up away from the floor. Either staying here or maybe playing around with that little hover of the left leg away from the ground. Take one more breath. And then with control, bring it all the way back to center. Pop the hand down towards the floor, roll down onto your hands and knees. From here, we're gonna tuck the toes under, knees lift, and we're gonna briefly come to downward facing dog. Bring the gaze forwards between your hands. Walk your feet forwards towards the front of your mat. Let your arms hang heavy in a forward fold, tuck your chin and roll yourself all the way up to standing. And when you get to the top, roll those shoulders back and down, find the space to lift the body. Beautiful. We're going to bring ourselves to tree pose. So again, we're going to take that lift of the toes, spread them nice and wide and bring them down to the floor. Hands come to the heart. Gaze settles onto somewhere that is not going to move. And maybe we begin to bring the weight a little bit over onto the left foot. And we come up onto the tiptoes of the right foot and let the sole of the foot come towards the um, sole of the inside of the ankle. We can stay here. We can bring the foot a little higher up the leg. You can always pop a block underneath the toes if we want to have a little play with lifting the foot higher, but we still need a little bit of support. And if you've got the balance, you can always take hold of the foot and bring it to the inside of the thigh if that's working for you today. But taking what is working for you, hands can stay at the heart or they might begin to reach up. And as they reach up, maybe they part away from each other. Keep that gaze settled. Keep nice and rooted into that standing leg. Think about those toes spreading, taking up as much space as possible. And then letting the hands come all the way back to center, bring them down to your heart. 
going to see if we can unhook the foot without popping the toes to the floor. Lift the knee in front of you. And then melt it all the way back down towards the ground. Have a little wriggle into that standing leg. And we'll bring ourselves to the opposite side. So again, hands come to the heart. Begin to bring yourself onto the opposite foot. Come up onto the tiptoes of the left foot and let the sole of the foot come towards the inside of the ankle. Again, let your gaze settle. Choose the position for your foot on your leg and feel it rooted there. Hands might, might stay at the heart. Maybe they grow tall. Maybe they reach away from each other. But listen to the body if any of those moments maybe brought a little bit of a wobble. Then stay where you were. Stay where you were and breathe. Keep breathing here. Take one more breath. And then letting the hands come all the way back down. Again, we're going to unhook the foot, see if we can lift the knee in front of us. And then pop the foot all the way to the floor. Have a little wriggle into that standing leg. Beautiful. From here, we're going to inhale to reach the arms up high. Exhale to bring yourself down towards a forward fold. Inhale, hands rest onto the shins, flatten your back. Exhale, hands come down and you're going to step it all the way back to box position. And from here, take the knees nice and wide, connect the big toes, press it back to child's pose. And really let your child's pose melt into the floor so you might reach the arms around behind you or maybe fold the arms and pop the forehead down onto them. Feel really grounded down towards the floor, so feel your body touching down. We'll take one more breath here. And then slowly peeling yourself up to a knelt position. Take a little swing of the legs to one side and bring yourself all the way down to seated. So finding a comfortable seated position using whatever props work for you. And to close, we're going to let one hand come to rest onto the heart and the other one onto the floor beside you. So we keep that feeling of grounding. Tune into the beat of your heart. And then tune into the feeling of your hand resting onto your mat, onto the floor, onto the grass if you're practicing outside. And through the hands and through the arms, feeling that connection between your heart and the earth. Notice the swell of your breath. Maybe tune into that feeling of rooting. We'll take one more breath. And then letting the hand that's resting to the floor come to rest on top of your other hand, on top of your heart. Feel that inhale into your body. And as you exhale, taking a bow to close our practice. Namaste. Thank you so much. As ever, pop any questions or anything in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. If there's anything else you want to see filmed, let me know um, and please do either follow me on social media or hit the subscribe button which will be floating around somewhere up here on YouTube. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon.